Hmm. Maybe I should keep this. Yeah, definitely keeping it. I'm going to, like, I'm telling you, I'm going to figure out a way to make this shit happen. It is. This week, I'm taking you guys behind the scenes. Check it out. Well, here we are in situate mass, and I'm trying to drill a hole in aluminum at well, it's probably 9 o'clock at night. So this is what happens when you order signs, and you forget to say, I like my signs with holes because I'm going to hang them. And then I guess they just assume that you want signs to that float in air. So in about five minutes, I was able to drill some holes in the signs because, well, actually, to drill didn't cooperate the entire time but once it did it only took me five minutes and I was able to get science run to my car grab the zip ties that I forgot and mind you it's cold so I'm running fast once I get those up this sign is gonna be awesome and there it is so yeah there's that oh yeah just leaving staples now uh, got these ready Ooh. These are cool, right? Let me turn it around for you guys. You're invited. Pre-open house party flyers. Do, 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 do. So check it out. I'm gonna go knock on this door now. Hopefully they don't think it's too weird that it's too dark out. Um, but I mean, this is four or five o'clock. This is like ideal time to knock. Everyone just gets home from work. So let's check it out. And it's funny because people are like, oh, you're real estate. Are you selling houses today? Do this today? Yeah, it must be so easy, right? After the day I've had, I'm driving around everywhere. Now I'm knocking on doors. Uh, I mean, what's really only 5 o'clock, which is still reasonable, legal. I'm telling people to come to the open house, and it's dark out. People are like, eh, why are you knocking on my door? What do you want? What do you want? But some people are super friendly. Some people are like, hey, oh my God, thank you. This one guy told his wife as soon as the door closed, hey, Martha. Uh, well, he didn't sound like that. He was like, hey, Martha. We're going to a party, that Massachusetts accent. Um, so that was cool. I was excited that they are excited to come. Uh, so wet. I'm sweating and it's wet and cold. You ever had that feeling like you're sweating but you're cold at the same time? It's because you're working in conditions like this. Like look at this umbrella. Where did it even come from? It's not from that table. It's a red umbrella that's already in the garage. Fifteen. All right, perfect. I'll see you in a second. And here we are. The open house is at three. They want to see Sheila's at one fifteen. Why? Makes them feel special. Like, oh, we got our clients in. Those clients feel like we got a head start. If we really like this, let's make a move right now. And the agent feels like, you know, you're looking out for them. So oh, the next thing we're doing to prepare for today is lighting the fireplaces, setting the mood. Right. Well, one, it's raining and cold, so when you come inside, it's. Feels real good to get to a nice warm fireplace. So, I'm gonna make these real bad boys fireplaces. I think that's how you do it, right? So how many signs total do you have up? Like four, seven, eight, nine, it will be eleven. Eleven okay. signs. And you got two two more left? Left the eleven, yeah. 
Where are the last two going? Last two are going along Bellow Road. It's kind of a long winding street, so we're going to make sure nobody can miss it for any reason. All right, I'll follow you. Let's go. Awesome. I'm sure this is going to look about as Often in real estate, you hear people talk about finding the motivated sellers. Now, it's not often you find them, but when you do, they look like this. Outside helping you decorate before the open house. And it's not because you're incompetent. They just really want to do this. They enjoy it. They want to get it done. And they flew in from another state, the complete West Coast, actually. It, may, it won't be the gayest thing. <laughs> Okay, anything to help you sell my house. <laughs> so, this week, not that bad, right? The exciting going to Runners from Situate to Back Bay to freaking Marshfield. We have another listing out there still with a big flag. But let's go over the weekly goal. How did I do this week? So, the nachos, right? Network, 46 people out of the goal of 50. So, we still haven't hit the goal yet. I'm trying to network with 50 people, 46, so not bad. As far as appointments, one on three this week. I know we said we we're going to step it up big time. Three is a step up from zero. It's not a great step. I definitely want to be getting more than that. We're looking for, like I said, that 80% ratio. Um, how many contracts did I sign out of the appointments? Right? Two. So that's like 66%. I got to take more at bats if I want to get a higher ratio. But two out of three, not bad. Um, so two new deals, two new contracts coming on. Um, NAC, house visits. Decent traffic through the open houses. You saw the little pre party invite and this and that. A lot of people came to the open houses. So a lot of house visits. We looked at some of, some of our buyers as well. And in terms of offers, we got one offer accepted on a property in Dorchester. So that's going to be good to see, get the inspection. We might have some of that footage in next week's vlog. And as far as sold, closed on four properties. So it's been not the, not the worst week in the world. We're trying to catch up to the goal. 50 properties is the goal by the end of the year. I'm going to say it every week. So you guys know it. I know it. Keep me accountable. I'm glad you guys checked out this vlog. This was episode two. Be back next week. Or maybe like earlier. Who knows? I don't even know when I record these anymore. All right. <laughs> Yo, I be trying, man. You got them beatboxing skills, but that beat was crazy the way you switch it up. You know, you know, you know, I keep it going, you know.